Former President Donald Trump is endorsing the sale of a Bible. We must make America pray again. What's your reaction to that? I'm, I'm not a hugely religious person, but I find that very hypocritical because he, his actions and just his character, it does not seem like a very uh, <laughs> upstanding, upworthy person to be even endorsing the Bible. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yeah, anything that helps uh, the Bible and, and, and getting messages out, I'm all for that, actually. Former President Donald Trump is actually endorsing the sale of Bibles, and it has the Constitution, U.S. Constitution in it. What are your thoughts on that? I don't associate him with the Bible or the American flag. I don't put much thought into it. Well, I mean, anything that gets more people to read the Bible is good, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know what, I don't agree with everything the man does, but, you know, if, if, if it gets more people to read the Bible, I suppose it can, even good things can come from, from unusual sources. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. A lot of people in the liberal media are criticizing former President Trump for doing this, saying there is a separation between church and state, and someone running for the presidency shouldn't be endorsing religious text. How do you feel about that? I'm actually all for that as well. I understand the separation of uh, church and state, but uh, I think more of our politicians need to... Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with pushing the uh, uh, Christianity or Jesus or the Bible or any of that. Do you believe that it's appropriate for uh, a candidate who's running for presidency to, to be selling or endorsing the sale of Bibles? No, and I don't think you should probably call it a Bible because I, you know, it's not even the version that I think Christians celebrate. So, yeah, it's fraud. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not a big fan of that. I, I don't, yeah, that's, that's mixing some things that probably shouldn't be mixed. He has faced uh, criticism uh, by some saying that uh, someone running for the presidency should not be endorsing the sale of a religious text. Do you agree or disagree with that sentiment? I agree he should not be. I and mean, we have a separation of church and state, so yeah. What do you think the role of Judeo-Christian values in the U.S. are, and how do you think they've changed over the course of the last few years? I think that they should hold a portent in the role. I mean, our, our uh, forefathers, our, our whole constitution, our whole the United States is based on Judeo-Christian values. I, I feel um, modern politicians don't lean into that enough. I, I would be more for it, actually. We do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. What should the focus of the country be this Easter weekend? Jesus. He is risen. Absolutely. Family. Spending time with family. Connecting with family. Not focusing on our differences, divisions. For this Easter Sunday, what should America's focus be? Individuals' right to have religions that they want in our country and to remember people that served in our country. I think it's important to remember Easter Sunday is a, is a time to remember peace and love and uh, God's love for the world. And I, I think it's great that uh, we have such a, you know, even when we have troubles in this country, we, have, we can come together sometimes and then celebrate these things.